everyone. Today for library, we are going to start talking about Google Drive. Now, first off, what is Google Drive for the people that are new? Uh, Google Drive is actually an app that is shaped like a triangle, and it's going to be our home base as we're working through the Google Apps. Uh, now, there's a lot of different Google Apps, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, and anytime we're creating in those, it's always housed in our Google Drive. It's almost like a, a virtual filing cabinet. And because we're using Google Drive all the way up through until we graduate, we want to make sure that we're keeping it nice and neat and organized so it's not super messy and we can find things. So let's go ahead and watch my video. It's going to show you how to get the app and then how to keep it nice and organized and make a folder uh, for your grade that you're in right now. So that's our goal for today, to make a grade level folder and tidy it all up. The Google Drive app looks just like this right here. It is a green, yellow, and blue triangle. Now, if you do not have Google Drive, you'll wanna head into self-service, this app right here, where we get all of our apps. And over into search here, the magnifying glass. Up here at the top, you'll wanna to type in Google Drive and search. And here it is right here, you will want to install Google Drive. Okay, so let's take a look inside Google Drive. The very first thing we're going to want to do is sign in. So tap sign in. Now there's a chance that it could remember you on here. Um, this is another good way that you could get rid of other accounts that you don't want on there. So I can see I have my school one, but I don't want my other personal one here. So I can actually do manage accounts on this device and remove, remove that other one if I wanted to. So now I see just mine. Okay, so before I just click into my name, let's talk briefly about logging in if you need help logging in. So here's a student login example. So let's say, for example, that I was a second grader uh, and this was my student ID right here. Remember, it starts with your two-digit graduation year, 3-1 for second graders, your last name, and your first initial. So mine would be Gerber A, and of course yours would be your name, at Fairview Schools. Dot org, and you can even write that all down so you have that in a place that's a safe place. Password capital F, the S and D are lowercase for Fairview School District. Hashtag, and then there's that five digit student ID, which is found right on the back of your iPad on that white piece of paper. Third grade, yours will be starting with a 30. Fourth grade, yours will be starting with a 29. Remember, it is different if you um, repeated a year or jumped ahead a year or anything anything odd like that. Um, it can also be different with um, twins if somebody has like the same last name and same first initial. But for the most part, this is the pattern that it will follow. So uh, let's go ahead and sign in. Okay, now let's take a look at what we're looking at here. So first up, this screen right here, this just says priority. This is showing me my most recent apps, or excuse me, the, my most recent um, Google things that I was working on here. So you can see I obviously just opened that. That's why that was showing and a couple other things I was editing today. Okay, the next one over here workspaces i you can see i don't actually use workspaces i'm not even certain what that's for so you can just ignore that section okay this one over here these are when people share files with you um, so i know we've done a little bit of that in third and fourth grade we've practiced sharing files um, and in second grade, maybe your teacher has shared a file with you, but I know you haven't gotten any file sharing yet. So that will be coming. That's, that, that's where you'd look if someone shared it with you and you need to find it. And then the most important is this last little button over here. 
this is our actual drive. Now, I use my drive all the time, every day. I don't have paper files. I keep everything I need in here. So you can take a look at yours if you have anything inside it. Uh, there's a chance you may have nothing inside it, and that's okay too. So what we want to do is add a folder for this year's grade. So you're going to notice there's a plus sign right down here. Tap that plus sign. And we want to add a new folder. Okay, it's going to call it untitled folder. But we want to call it grade and then whatever grade you are in. Could be second, could be third, could be fourth, and hit create. Okay, so there you can see my grade two folder I have. Now, it's this boring gray, but you'll notice from looking at my other folders, I've changed some of them. So the first thing I could do is change it a fun color. So you can click those three little dots that are right beside it and go to change color with the little uh, paint palette right there. And you can change it to whatever color you want to change it to. I'll choose red. There we go. Uh, now, what else can we do with it? Well, as of right now, if you look inside it, it's probably empty. There's no files in here. But maybe there are files that you have from this school year that you want to put in there. Now, one of the things you can do, let me drag on down here till I get to some of the loose stuff. Here we go. So I have some loose stuff that's in here. Um, what I can do here is I can take any of this loose stuff and I could do a couple of different things. I could take it, so let's say I you know, had this calendar I wanted. I can tap it and hold it, this 2019 calendar, and I can actually pull it up, if it'll let me here. Oh, pull up, I got too many folders in mine. There we go. <laughs> and then let go into the grade two folder. So you can see now that that calendar is in there. So that's one way that I could pull it up in. Another way, let's say my Bitmoji here, I wanted to add that in. I can also hit the three dots and you'll notice it says move right here. I can move it, my drive, and then grab that grade two folder again. Yours will be a lot easier since you don't have as many folders as I do. And then say move here. Okay, so see how see how that moved right into the folder, uh, the folder that I needed it in. Okay, so you can see as as with mine over time as you use it, it just starts to grow and grow. And we want to make sure we're keeping it really nice and clean each year that all of our files are going into the grade level folder. Um, because if you keep using it over and over, you'll have all these different things and it'll be really hard to find exactly what you're looking for. So having those folders makes it really nice and tidy. Okay, so that's all I wanted you to do. I just wanted you to make your grade level folder, we'll get line, logged in of course, make your grade level folder and then clean it up, put any files in it. So what you're going to do now is take a screenshot of this screen right here so I can see how nice and clean it is and that you have your folder. So you're gonna very quickly tap your home button and power button, just real quick. We're not pressing and holding, just a quick snap. So let me show you what happens. There, so see the click and how my uh, screen flashed there? That was a screenshot that I did. So now I'm ready to head into Schoology and go into your library course. So I'll just show you from second grade here as an example. Okay, into this week's folder and into today's folder. Okay, so there we go here. Upload a screenshot of your Google Drive here. So I'm going to click on that and head over here to submissions. And this is where it gets a little tricky because I'm seeing it from the teacher end where I see all your names that you haven't submitted yet. Um, but you're going to see it from the student end. So you are going to see a blue plus sign right up here. 
you're going to tap that and say um, to upload a photo or video, and you are going to upload it right from your camera roll. So if I head to my camera roll here, uh, see how that photo is safe right in there? There's that screenshot that I took. So that's what you're going to upload and hit that green check and it should load it right to me in that assignment right here in this Schoology assignment. Okay. All right, everyone, if you have any problems with that, please don't hesitate to reach out with me, send me, reach out to me, send me a Schoology message, um, and I'll always try to help you, or I'll even set up a, a Google Meet where you can share your screen with me if that helps too, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you next time.